New development in the Karen Reed murder trial. Reed's legal team is asking the state's highest court to throw out two of the charges against her. Our NBC 10's Bianca Beltran taking a closer look at the defense's team's argument. Your service is complete. I'm declaring a mistrial in this case. As the Norfolk District Attorney's Office prepares to try Karen Reed for the murder of John O'Keefe again, the defense team is requesting that a justice of the state's Supreme Judicial Court review Judge Beverly Canoni's decision not to dismiss two of the charges, including second-degree murder. In court filings, they claim five jurors reached out to them after a mistrial was declared, alleging one juror referred to as Juror A told them that the jury unanimously agreed that Karen Reed is not guilty of count one, second degree murder, and that the jury also unanimously agreed that Karen Reed is not guilty of count three, leaving the scene with injury death. Reed's legal team also claims to have received screenshots of texts from another juror, Juror B, who allegedly wrote it was not guilty on second degree and split in half for the second charge, man. Slaughter. We can't be certain that that's exactly the way it went down. And the reason you can't be is because there is no formal written declaration of what the jury's verdict is, and it wasn't addressed in open court. NBC 10 legal analyst Michael Coyne explains if this request is denied, Reed would still have the option to appeal after another trial. The single justice could simply say, no, the case isn't fully ripe yet. Go back, finish it in the trial court. And then after the case has been adjudicated, then you can take your appeals through the normal course if you lose. These statements attributed to jurors have not been independently verified by NBC 10 Boston. The Norfolk District Attorney's Office tells us they are aware of the defense's request and they will be filing their statement and position with the Supreme Judicial Court. Reporting in Boston, I'm Bianca Beltran, NBC 10 Boston.